Good morning, THS. It's Thursday, August the 10th. I'm Mason. And I'm Vanessa, and you're watching Viking News. On August 21st, school will dismiss one hour, er one hour later due to a solar eclipse. However, students will be given an opportunity to view the solar eclipse with special sunglasses specifically made for viewing a solar eclipse. There will be a swim team meeting in the wellness room today starting at 6 p.m. The Interact Club is now accepting applications this school year. Anyone who is interested in applying can pick up an application in the main office. Applications are due Friday, August 25th by the end of the day and need to be returned to Mrs. DeClerc or Mrs. Arnold. All current members who are interested in participating this school year need to stop by Mrs. DeClerc's room 2217 by this Friday, August the 11th. Ninth grade student council applications are located in the office. Applications will be accepted for two weeks only. August 14th will be picture day for all underclassmen and staff. Students will receive order envelopes during their fourth period. All photos must be prepaid. Students must pay the photographer on picture day or photos may be ordered online at mylifetouch.com with the code located on the THS website. Extra order forms will be available at the front office. FCA will begin meeting weekly this Friday. They will meet in the auditorium from 2.45 to 3.15. The Tennessee High School After School Tutoring and Activities Program will be held in the Wellness Room, room number 2447, from 2.30 to 5.30, Monday through Friday. Snacks will be provided every day. The THS Class Officer Applications is due August 17th. Completed applications, application sheets are to return to your grade level advisor. Now here's Abby and Maddie with your weather forecast. Good morning. My name is Maddie Norton, and today's weather is scattered thunderstorms with a high of 80 and a low of 60. Tomorrow it's mostly cloudy with a high of 83 and a low of 65. Now back to the studio for your cafe watch. In sport news, the Miami Dolphins signed 34-year-old quarterback Jay Cutler out of retirement to a one-year $10 million deal. In local news, a Memphis, Tennessee funeral home has been fined for reusing caskets without taking proper precautions. The Tennessee Board of Funeral Directors and Embalmers found that E.H. Ford Morty Services and its director violated state law by repolstering caskets each time they were rented for service. In national news, North Korea threatens to get revenge on the U.S. for sanctions. The U.N. imposed new sanctions on Pyongyang due to its nuclear and missile programs. The U.S. drafted sanctions on North Korea, which included a ban on coal and other exports worth, worth over $1 billion. And that's all for Viking News. Have a terrific Thursday.